Tax Stone joined in and I'll come back. Hey, Tax Stone apparently did an interview on Vlad uh, seven days before he got arrested in 2017. Now, here's why this interview is going to be a little bit eerie. This is the first time Vlad's releasing it. Um, by the way, Julie, if, 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 if you do, uh, if you do uh, drop this um, you know, out of respect for Vlad, don't have the full interview. We'll watch a full interview on stream, but 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 chop it up, chop it up, like you know what I mean? Because I want people to watch Vlad's video. All right. Now here's the thing. Um, okay, seven days before he gets arrested. Keep in mind, tax was about free for like a damn almost a year after he allegedly murdered Banga. Right now, nobody was talking about it, but I guess people who knew knew. So let me hear what Tax was saying seven days before he gets arrested. Love it. How you feeling? Everything good, man. 2016 was a great year for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Broke some records. Yeah, trying to go a little harder this year. You got to. I don't really think about the past too much. I'm only focused on the future. Exactly. Exactly. So. Yo, I'm sorry. I could see it in his eyes, bro. I was I like maybe I'm biased because I'm going into it. Look at that. I can see it in his eyes that yeah he's doing this interview, but there's other shit going on type shit. You feel me? Somebody said somebody died in a sexy red music video. What the fuck are you talking about? You could tell that there's something else going on, right? The top of the news right now is Soldier Boy and Chris Brown. Yeah. You think it's gonna happen? Um. Somewhere in my heart, I wish that it happens. And somewhere in my heart, um, I pray that it doesn't. <laughs> okay. The way he's answering these questions, you can tell there's something big on his mind, bro. I'm I, I, I feel like I know taxes per persona, but maybe I don't. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm at a, at a conflicting space. Why do you pray that it doesn't? Because it's like, what, what would the art turn into if... We start getting in rings, throwing on gloves, like maybe artists that can't rap or, you know what I mean, artists that can't fully perform as battlers or, or, or whatever, just in the art form. Okay. Well, they start just saying, yo, we going to go box on pay-per-view and have a fight. Well, look what happens to uh, some professional uh, boxers or MMA fighters. They end up in U they, they end up in a, uh, WWE. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you have, I think like Ken Shamrock, who wrote backflips, you know what I mean? That was really just kind of like a one hit thing. Like Soldier Boy actually blew up off a of Napster, got a record deal, had a hit song. Is there anything else like that? Whereas Chris Brown. It was so crazy because I seen the video where Soldier Boy was talking about being with his kid and his baby mother. And I was like, oh my God, Jesus. And then I seen the video of Chris Brown when he was like, yo, please stop playing with my my kid. Like, please stop. And, you know, and I was like, all right, you know, that's what I felt like. You know what I mean? And that's why I feel like the fight shouldn't even happen. I feel like they should just squash the beef because I feel like, you know, WWE does that. They play around with people, family members. Or oh, do that stuff like that. <laughs> Hindsight is always twenty twenty. The way Tax is talking, you could tell he learned a lesson. Or maybe he has some regrets. Right? So this is after he got into the situation with Troy Ave. He allegedly killed Banger. You see how, you know, and Tax is usually one of them niggas who's spicy. You see how he's talking about family? He's talking about, man. Yo, I don't want people to be putting on like he seems to be kind of anti couple. I think he learned a lot, but you can see his answers. It, it, it's different, I think, than he would normally do previously, because he used to be just on Vlad or wherever, just shooting from the hip. If you ask me, yeah, you know I never I mean? watch it. So you never watch WWE. Never watch it. Mm -hmm. but I mean, I used to watch it back in the day, like. Hulk Hogan and Iron Sheik, but not not That's in the what last they do. They play around years. with people, family members, stuff like that. It's all scripted. Yeah. You know what I mean? This shit is not really scripted. It's like yeah. a free form art, and then people go. And I guess some people do do scripted things, like they know, like I'm gonna do this, and this is gonna be the reaction. I need publicity or whatever the fuck it might be. But 
me personally, when I seen him say that shit about Chris Brown and being being with his daughter and his kids, I was like, oh man, like I was like, you know, if Chris Brown um throws this nigga in a pit of lava and pull him out and he's just bones, then he deserves it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you should never go that far. Yeah. I remember when I interviewed Cassidy. And I talked about how... I think the way I'm looking at Tax's demeanor, now that that, that Vlad kind of... He titled the interview seven days before his arrest. If you don't know what that means... Banger gets killed pretty much like nine months before. So allegedly tax killed the nigga nine months before. And I could imagine it might be on his mind. He also is trying to move a little different. He dipped out of New York city, supposedly allegedly. So, you know, the interactions, like I'm watching his body movements and I'm getting some energy from it. Really a set of rules you're supposed to follow. Nah, it's, it is actually it is no rules that you should follow, but you should also be prepared for all actions, for all reactions that happen to the actions that you do. So me personally, I felt like once he was like, you know, I was at your baby mom's and your kid, you know. I feel like, you know, what I mean, if you die at church, you die at church. I think Soldier Boy prepared for the fuck shit. No, me too. Me too. That's what, you know. I don't think he's going to get caught off guard you know, if something people happens. Keep, people keep talking about me. They're like, yo, Tax, you always laughing at this. How the fuck are you always fluffing ashes on me? But people be like, yo, yo, Tax, you always laughing at Soldier Boy. And then you saying that you believe in him. And you, oh, yeah, just because I laugh at the nigga don't mean. I laugh at everybody. Mm. I laugh at niggas that I believe. So, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm a jokeful person, but... I believe Soldier Boy. I believe Soldier Boy wants to prove himself. I believe he's on a mission. You know, he's at a, a point in time in his life where, you know, he probably was a kid. He always wanted to be a gangster. Mm -hmm. um, he grew up having a little bit more money than other people in his age group. So a lot more money. Yeah. <laughs> so he's able to, you know, have the confidence that he can have from the suburb or whatever that he lives in. And then. He's able to say certain things that other people are not able to say because of the security that he has. You know, it's dudes in the hood that probably want to lash out on Instagram or Twitter right now and be like, yo, fuck everybody. But then. Man, uh, tax, man, my my prayers are with you, man. Um, it's a sad story. It's a sad story. I think when Tax was, you know, when he was um, still awaiting trial, I think he had did some shit that he was like letter to somebody. I don't think the culture ever wrote a letter to him. And, and if they did, it would have been too late. Um, I think he probably realizes now in jail, like, man, Tax, you, you were leading the whole movement. You're inspiring so many different people to get into podcasting. You were the guy who people felt was even keeled to a point. You were dropping gems, but you were still like that. You weren't all talk. And I think people wanted to see you just go as far as you could have. But... Such is life. All right, if you guys don't know the whole story, him and Troy Ave always had issues. They ran into each other on a fateful day when Troy Ave was going to perform at T.I.'s concert, Irvin Plaza. There's a lot of, like, you know, different stories, but, but it says that Troy Ave is ro walking through the green room he sees Tax, um, according to Troy Ave, Tax, like, said something, but according to other people, Troy Ave, you know, because he got his bodyguard, he's acting tough. They see, 
they see um Tack Stone, a jumping occurs, and then shots get rang off. Banger gets hit in the chest, he dies. Troy Ave gets hit in the leg or one leg or thigh or whatever. He's able to, you know, still wrestle with Tack Stone until he gets the gun. He gets the gun from Tack Stone. Tack Stone runs out of the building, but he doesn't leave without firing or he doesn't he chased him and fired a bunch of shots. That's why Tack Stone's gonna be spending thirty five years in jail, and that's why um of course, um wait, who do I say? Uh, Tack Stone's uh, and and Troy Ave's gonna go to jail. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, a little somber kind of mood. I don't like that. All right, bet. So I got both of these off of the docket. Great, perfect. Got the aliens. Um, I'll do this real quick for 